Hello YouTubers, Michael here from One Liter ADV. Today we're going to be doing an overview and install of this GPS mount made by Moto Pumps. Included in this install, we're going to install this additional plate made by Moto Pumps, which is designed specifically for the Garmin Zumo XT. The mount itself can accommodate a number of different GPS models and units, as the Machined into it is the AMP pattern, which is the industry standard. Okay, so Moto Pumps has made this mounting plate to accommodate a number of different crossbar sizes. The size that I have here is the 12 millimeter because I'm gonna pair it up with my Camel ADV windscreen brace. But these parts can accommodate 12, 14, 16, 22, 25, and 28 millimeter. Okay, the mounting plate is made out of a high density polymer made by DuPont. It's very strong, very attractive finish, and the hardware that is included by Moto Pumps is all stainless steel. Okay, the Garmin Zumo XT has become the staple and the industry standard for a lot of ADV riders. The cradle feature that's, that holds it onto the bike is very, very good, but it lacks one feature. The unit cannot be locked onto the bike. And that's where this plate, this additional plate that we're gonna do with on the install will give it that added layer of security and lock the Zumo XT onto the bike. This mounting plate is made of 6061 bullet aluminum and also has the AMP pattern, which will mate up with the mounting plate. Okay, so we're mounting this unit to a Honda Africa Twin with an aftermarket brace. And we recommend just taking off your windscreen on your bike to get the cleanest access that you can to it. Okay, the trick to the uh, Africa Twin windscreen brace to not lose these rubber grommets down here is, not, is to not remove this hardware all the way. Just loosen it enough where the grommets spread out and then you can just slide this down and then just pop them out. And those grommets will stay with the windscreen instead of going back behind your fairing and disappear into the abyss. Okay, so currently I have um, a ram melt on holding my, my Zumo on. And of course, this is a very good system. It worked very well, but there's just no security built into it. The unit itself can just, you can just walk up and, and be gone with the unit. And then if that were to be, if we were just to use the plate and lock it on, you know, you could just remove it like this. Since it's hardwired into my bike, cut the cord and still take the unit itself. So that's why we're gonna replace this brand mount. Hey, by the way, if you get stuck on the install on any part of this, the QR codes will lead you to printed instructions and go step by step on the install. Okay, so this is the cradle made by Garmin and with the plunger, and we're gonna have to separate the RAM ball mount off of it and replace this part of the unit with the new Moto Pumps. Okay, so now that we have the uh, the cradle separated. We're gonna go ahead and install the, the backing plate. And again, this is the 12 millimeter option. Moto Pumps is very specific about not over torquing this hardware. This is a high density polymer and stainless steel, so it does not need to be over torqued. And the AMP pattern um, is you know, straight up and down, so you have some options on height. I'm gonna set it as high as possible. And then Moto Pumps includes this three millimeter Allen key to mount the plate. I'm just gonna angle it the same angle as my, uh, my speedometer and, and dash cluster. And we'll just go back and forth a little bit so this is nice even. Okay, at this point, you could just attach your Garmin, but again, you wouldn't have no security. So we're gonna be adding this additional security plate Okay, so take this, the additional plate, and put it behind your cradle. Included with the stainless steel hardware is a washer that we're going to feed through and match up. Okay, this is a uh, number one screwdriver, so we can't get much torque on them anyways, but we're gonna give them a snug torque, and that should be good. Make sure your plunger still works on your cradle. Okay, next we're gonna uh, install the Garmin onto the cradle and we're gonna 
demonstrate how this locking feature works. So that snaps on, that's how it typically stays. But again, there's no security yet until we put this locking pin in. This is a keyed locking pin and it has an O-ring. It only goes in one way. This O-ring prevents it from backing out and it slides between there and included in the purchase is this keyed pin which will screw it into the other side and then it's recessed and now this plunger cannot be engaged. This unit cannot come off because the plunger is physically blocked. And I'm gonna torque that a little bit more because it is rotating. And that's what Moto Pumps recommends. Torque it down just to where it doesn't rotate on you. And now it's very secure. And the unit itself cannot, be, cannot come off until this, this security pin is removed. Okay, so this is a full install with the security pin in place. So this unit cannot be taken off of the bike. If you're at the gas station or having lunch, um, it is physically blocked from coming off. Cannot. So we're gonna demonstrate the key that is needed. The Honda has a curved windscreen, so it is a little bit tighter than probably some bikes, but it can clearly be done. And then once it's loose, you can slide out that pin and off the unit comes. Okay, so if you have a Garmin Zumo XT, um, Moto Pumps has really done the design and development of this mounting system with this locking plate. So from what I can tell, it's a very, very good system. It uh, keeps it nice and flush. It's very secure. Um, it's a very clean install and the locking feature alone is worth the investment in my opinion. So we'll give this unit a real world test and if we have any issues or uh, comments, additional comments, we will definitely um, update the video with those and uh, just be on the lookout for other videos coming your way. Mm -hmm.